Baseball has a muddy balls problem. They finally said, you know what? We're going to clean our balls up. We're going to implement some of the perfect cleaning strategies. But actually, instead of cleaning them, they want to get them properly muddy. Here's a little snippet of what I'm talking about. It's brought to you by Roman, and we're going up to Seattle. The Angels were in town. This is before the brawl happened. Tapera is on the mound, and he's trying to protect a four-run lead. And as you can see, he gets the ball from his infielder, touches it, and then looks at it and says, ah, I got to rub this up. He's like, this feels awful. He's got his wedding ring on. That always interests me, guys that play with the wedding ring on. Some people can't do anything. I wear those rubber ones that are kind of like my dog can eat it. I don't care. First pitch, fastball, right down the middle. Next pitch, slider. That's a really good combination of pitches. I like that. I didn't really notice that. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you behind the scenes real quick. I'm going to try to edit this and show you how they look next to each other. I didn't do this beforehand, but I kind of want to because those two pitches next to each other looked cool. Let's see if I can do it quickly. So we got the first pitch. That was a fastball right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the moment the ball is out of his hand right there. All right. And I'm going to drag it up so I have it up here and then I'm going to go to the next pitch we're going to mark the moment it's out of his hand right there and I'm going to duplicate that and drag that up here and then we're going to take this top one and lower the opacity by 50 percent and see what we're dealing with so pretty same movement very similar release slot and then one is going to go one way and the, oh my God, look at that. That is cool. As a hitter, you just have no idea which way it's going. I'll give you a closer look. We'll zoom in on it. I mean, that's live, live speed's nuts. Whoa, live speed was cool. Looks like a trick. It is a trick. Professional baseball pitching is very often just a trick. Look at that. So that's, the, they're in the same spot for a while and then one goes the other, one way and the other goes the other way. That was worthwhile. Okay. Now we got to go back to the full screen and we'll do the rest of the video. Thank you for allowing that interruption. Okay. So the one, one, he goes back to the slider. Fastball is up. He comes back, wants it down. It runs away from him, hits the guy in the elbow. DePere is not happy about it. He's like, come on. Uh, bad. I don't want to lead off guys rubbing up the baseball, rubbing up the baseball, rubbing up the baseball. I think it hit him in the padding, so we're okay there. D Moore and that back right wrist. I don't think there's padding there, actually. My bad. Next batter, first pitch, he's going to go slider. Crawford wraps it down the right field line, way into the corner. Outfielder's got to go dig it out. D Moore's rounding the bases with speed, got hit in the elbow, not the knee, doesn't care, and guns galore on second. For JP, and DePere is going to get a new ball from the umpire, and he looks at it, and he's just like, what? And you can see him be, like, flustered, but he's got to gain composure. Now it's a three-run game, and there's a runner in scoring position. That ball's fouled off, slider. Now the umpire is going to give him a new ball. He's going to immediately grab it and throw it away, say, no, don't want it. So now the umpire is going to give him another one, catches it, grabs it, throws it away. The balls aren't fucking rubbed up. I mean, what a power move. To just ask for something from someone and then toss it aside. You ever like ask for the remote from your buddy on the couch and then just throw it across the room like don't need it? As a, as a power move. There's nothing to gain from it, but it's just a powerful thing you can do to fuck with your friend. Anyway, umpire's like, I don't know what you want from me. These are the balls I got. The pair's like, what are these suck? He's holding them. He's going to say, they're fucking pearls. They're slippery. The slickness of the baseballs has been a concern since last year when they took the sticky stuff away because pitchers were using sticky stuff to get a better grip. It helps them pitch a whole bunch, but the pitchers also said, hey, I don't need anything that crazy. Fine, sure, ban that, but I just need to be able to get a grip on these balls. They're, they're so slippery when they get to us, and there is a process that's been in place for a while. They rub mud on the balls, but each team rubs mud in a different way, has a different process, has a different theory or they care or they don't care and then they get stored different in humidors in ball bags wherever there's even rumors that some pitchers have their own bags and tell the ball boys like only throw me these ones I rubbed them up perfectly so it's been a little bit of a mess now MLB has said we went to every clubhouse we saw their methods we determined the best policies to get the best muddy balls we can into pitchers hands and my dude Eno Saris wrote about it on the athletic and this is the new policy 
All game balls must be stored in humidors for a minimum of 14 days before being taken through the muddying process. Muddying must be done on game day. Attendants must muddy the ball in a process outlined by video that should take 30 seconds per ball. There should be an exact standard ratio of water to mud used for the mudding process. So science, all baseballs to be used in a specific game must be muddied within three hours of all other baseballs being used in that game. Hold up. So 30 seconds per ball and you only have a three hour window. How many baseballs used in a game? Uh, baseball estimates between eight and 10 dozen baseballs are used in every major league game. So how do you go through 96 through a hundred? So let's just use the, let's just say 110. I'm going to go to my best friend calculator.com. So 110 balls times 30 equals 3,300 seconds, uh, divided by 60 equals 55 minutes okay so it's doable they got three hours to do it i mean they gotta like not take breaks who's doing that clubbies just rubbing up muddy baseballs all right the math adds up once the muddying process is completed all balls should be placed back in the rawlings boxes with dividers and the boxes then placed in the humidor when taken out of the humidor for that day's game only eight dozen balls at a time should be placed in a ball bag additionally the inside of the ball bag will be required to be cleaned thoroughly by wiping with a damp cloth and dry cloth to make sure there's no excess residue or moisture each team will be provided a poster showing the acceptable range appearance for muddied baseballs wow and then you don't have to deal with this a pitcher just throwing pearls out there now to did get out of this with some more nasty sliders nasty slider gets the strike fastball up in the zone o2 inside fastball next pitch fastball top of the zone to winker next pitch low and then the slider they wanted it they don't get it to three two pops them up on the high fastball catcher's going to grab that one and then one more batter to go slider down the middle Slider outside, one and one, fastball up top, slider in the middle, good wood on it, but that's a lazy fly to left field, and there you have it. MLB has officially told their clubbies how to rub up their balls to make them last longer and perform better, and if you want that same thing done for yourself, you can get it with the Roman Swipes. No need to feel embarrassed about PE. If you're dealing with it, just go to GetRoman.com slash JohnBoy today. If approved, you'll get $10 off your first order. That's GetRoman.com slash JohnBoy. Wipe yourself down. Play better.